what if i told you that i found a usable pair for ragnar in 2024 that actually kind of breaks the game yes i'm serious no this is not clickbait of course there are downsides to running this specific commander pairing which we will also talk about later in the video but the test results that i got from using ragnar as secondary is actually shocking so let's go over everything but first what's going on guys cheers now ragnar was first introduced in rise of kingdoms in 2021 when they first put vikings into the game and he was pretty much immediately written off as like a caesar clone a lot of their stats are very similar they're both leadership conquering attack commanders attack tree for leadership isn't like super good and he's a gold key commander right so pretty much from day one people just tossed him to the side and said oh he's pretty much just marketing material and to be honest that's true i mean there's been nothing substantial that has come out of ragnar being implemented into the game until now which is a shame because ragnar's design is absolutely incredible i love the way he looks i feel like vikings are super cool and so the fact that we might actually have a somewhat viable pair for him in 2024 is actually really exciting for me especially because i almost have mine expertise i haven't used any universal sculptures in him at all but since ragnar is pretty much a forgotten commander let's quickly go over what exactly he is doing with his skills his active skill when it's expertise gives you 40 percent more damage and you take 20 percent less damage for five seconds that is an unbelievable active skill to be honest with you guys 40 percent that's all damage okay and 20 percent less all damage in five seconds that's like half or more of your entire skill cycle duration right so even though there's no massive like damage factor on this active skill this is one of the strongest and longest buffs in the entire game looking at his second skill it gives him 20 percent attack and this is universal attack this works for any troop type and whenever you launch a basic attack you have a 10 percent chance to reduce the target's healing received by 40 percent for three seconds that second half of the skill is not that useful because we don't see that many healing commanders in the game right now although I will say with the introduction of the new formations we have the circle formation which increases healing and we have the testudo formation which also increases your healing I think in the future it's possible we could see more healing commanders probably this year or in early 2025 and if that's the case this second half of the skill could be much better as we move forward into the game the third skill gives you 10 percent damage when hitting a city that's not very good and we don't care about that in the open field and the fourth skill gives you 10 percent more troop capacity and if you're rallying you also get 10 percent rally army unit capacity as well in the open field the first half of this skill is the only thing that does anything but troop capacity is really important because the more troops that you have in your army the more damage that you can deal now there's a downside to that as well which we're going to talk about later in the video so stay tuned for that but there's one other important thing to remember about Ragnar and that is that he has a double museum relic which gives him 35 percent universal troop defense and you take 15 percent less normal damage that's really quite good now of course most of the damage you take these days is skill damage but I mean hey 15 percent less that's nice considering remember his active skill already means you're going to take 20 percent less all damage for five seconds so the combination of his relic with his second skill means you're going to get 55 percent of stats for anybody that he's paired with which is really really nice now the inspiration for this video actually came from a video that i made a few days ago where i talked about whether or not you need the horn of fury on liu che because of his expertise what we discovered is that this expertise gives you 86 rage every single time that it rocks which is crazy this is basically like a built-in horn of fury if you guys want more information about how this expertise works exactly go ahead and watch that video but one of the comments on that video said hey omniarch if you run liu che with the horn of fury as a primary commander would it be possible in theory to have the active skill go off while you still have the buff from Julius Caesar's active skill because his active skill gives you 30 percent more damage and Julius Caesar's relic also gives you another 20 percent all damage which means you would have 50 percent all damage during the active skill for Liu Che which is an insane thing to consider especially because Caesar gives you a lot of March speed with his relic as well he gets 20 percent universal March speed and I thought okay well that could be possible so I ran a couple of tests I threw a horn of fury on my Liu Che put Julius Caesar behind him and as you can see here our first active skill casts on turn nine Caesar casts on turn 11 and then what is this we see Liu Che casts again on turn 15 which means he still has 
the attack buff defense buff and 30 percent all damage buff from Julius Caesar which means he casts his active skill with 50 percent all damage with the relic which is absolutely insane so now that I've proved the concept in game with actual test results we know that this is possible I compared Ragnar to Julius Caesar and I thought well okay when he's expertise sure he gets 10 percent less all damage right because Caesar has 50 Ragnar has 40 but Ragnar takes 20 percent less all damage for five seconds and 15 percent less normal damage all the time whereas Caesar only takes 10 percent less all damage and with the rage engine on Liu Che's expertise plus the horn we're gonna have this skill up pretty much all the time guys which is unbelievable but on top of that you actually get more stats with Ragnar than you do with Caesar because remember we get 20 percent attack and 35 percent defense and Caesar actually has no stats here except for the 2020 that he gets on the active skill 20 percent attack 20 percent defense so you're literally just getting more stats with Ragnar now you also are bringing slightly less troops to the battlefield than Caesar but again the 20 percent all damage taken reduction is just so good so with that in mind I jumped over to the rock battle simulator now of course I don't have Ragnar expertise and I don't actually think I know anybody who has Ragnar expertise as well now I know we haven't talked about the battle simulator in the last couple of weeks but Speco the creator of this simulator has been hard at work completely re-optimizing the battle formula which he says is about 99 percent accurate at this point which is a really bold claim and in the past I've said that this simulator is about 90 percent accurate already which is not perfect but it's good so the fact that he's made it even more accurate than it's ever been is actually insane and yes he did actually implement the 86 rage that you get from the expertise from Liu Che I reached out to him and said hey did you see my video he double checked the data and said yes it does appear to be the case that Liu Che is getting extra rage from the expertise so now that Liu Che is working as we expect in the simulator and the formula is apparently more accurate than ever according to him I ran a bunch of tests now I would not have been able to do this video if it weren't for Speco and the rock battle simulator so there's going to be a link in the top of the description it's going to be to his patreon you can go over there please support the rock battle simulator he's put in so much work to make this for the community and it is such a valuable tool I've been using it for months and yes it is not a perfect replacement for in-game testing but with each update it gets more and more accurate and it is just it is such a good tool to have if you just want to quickly theory craft and test a couple of things so let's jump into the test results but first let me share with you guys exactly what I did so you guys know the exact parameters that we are testing here now what you'll see for the Liu Che with Ragnar is I gave them five percent for all three of these stats just assuming that you've got a couple of stats from every armament then I assumed that you would have a 10 percent health rune and a five percent health city skin I also assumed that you would be running France because of course there's no skill damage on this pair at all and so you get a ton of bonus health with France which is insane I also assumed that both sides had a 10 percent defense token with iconics in every slot that is available here and I reduced the amount of all damage and attack to be a little bit more in line with what sort of a mid spender or low spender would have of course if you're a whale then you're gonna have this all maxed out and we'll talk a little bit later about what a whale could expect from Liu Che with Ragnar as well because it does change slightly and then for the enemy I changed it depending on who I was going up against as you can see for both sides we don't have any special talents or anything like that because again I wanted to test sort of a real scenario I think of course if you're watching this and you are a whale then you might have a lot of talents and everything but for most players uh, you're not going to have a special talent on your weapon and a lot of this other stuff so I just use legendary for everything with a iconic crystal in everything and if I was going up against a skill damage commander pair I changed them to Ottoman gave them the five percent skill damage from the city skin and then removed the five percent health city skin over here and everything else is pretty much the same and the last thing that I want to point out here is that if we look at the battle report you're gonna see that Liu Che Ragnar has more troops and I got a lot of questions about this when I did some Caesar testing with Huo I made a video about that a few weeks ago a lot of people were confused about that but it is literally Ragnar's fourth skill to bring more troops so you will have more troops than your enemy unless you're going up against a whale with a 50 percent expansion and all this other stuff so you could say of course that this is going to win because there's more troops but that's the point you will have more troops it's not fair you are stacking the deck in your favor and there is a downside to that which again we will talk about later but my point is the Liu Che Ragnar having more troops in the simulator is an accurate representation of what you can expect to be the case 
in a real open field fight now the last thing i want to mention here is that you'll see that there is an empty accessory slot on both sides i intentionally did not put a ring of doom on these pairs i know that would be a little bit more accurate for what you could expect in the actual game but the ring of doom it adds a lot of rng to these test results and look these tests aren't going to be perfect anyway i just wanted to get a more consistent result from what you might expect from these pairs and again i did run a couple tests later which we'll go over that do include the ring so for those of you that are upset about that just wait till later but with all of that out of the way let's take a look at some of the results and of course the first commander pair that i wanted to test against was nevsky joan i think this is kind of the tried and true open field pair now of course this is a duel which is not exactly what nevsky joan is best at because nevsky gets a more powerful debuff when there's multiple troops surrounding the enemy which is often the case and Joan of Arc of course has a double AoE which the value of that will not be reflected here but the first battle report here you could see that there is 21.8k sev wounds for Liu Che and 28.2k sev wounds for Nevsky Joan you'll see we have 45k remaining for the Liu Che Ragnar and the Nevsky Joan loses moving on to the second report the Liu Che Ragnar loses but it's very close of course more sev wounds over here we've got about 18k remaining for the Nevsky Joan the third report shows the Liu Che Ragnar winning again with 25k remaining and less sev wounds moving on to the fourth report once again Liu Che wins less sev wounds and 27k remaining fifth report is kind of a tie I mean we actually see more sev wounds from the Liu Che Ragnar but it does survive because it started with more troops so yeah these were very very close results I guess you could sort of give the win to the Nevsky Joan honestly it's a better trade and then the sixth report you'll see that the sev wounds are higher for the Nevsky Joan and Liu Che Ragnar wins with 32k remaining so four out of six reports the Liu Che Ragnar was a clear winner next up I tested against Guan Yu CPO and you could see here first report Liu Che Ragnar wins with 60k remaining second report Liu Che Ragnar wins again 54k remaining third report Liu Che Ragnar wins again almost 70k remaining fourth report Liu Che Ragnar wins again 77k remaining fifth report 71k remaining they win again and sixth report wins again 72k remaining so an absolute blowout Liu Che Ragnar just blew Guan Yu CPO out of the water and you can see over here talent tree that I used it was the same gear everything was the same except the Ottoman Empire civilization and they had a five percent skill damage bonus now some of you might be saying well Omni York this is not even a meta pairing anymore Guan Yu CPO but I disagree I think Guan Yu CPO still performs really well and again this is a duel which is not exactly what Guan Yu and CPO is made for but it is saying something that it gets absolutely clapped by Liu Che Ragnar next up I tested CPO Liu Che because this is the meta pairing for infantry and guys this is this is insane okay Liu Che Ragnar wins 46k remaining next report Liu Che Ragnar wins again with 37k remaining third report Liu Che Ragnar wins again 42k remaining fourth report Liu Che Ragnar wins again 58k remaining fifth report Liu Che Ragnar wins again 47k remaining and sixth report Liu Che Ragnar wins again so a 6-0 victory against the literal meta open field commander pair for infantry now I thought this was a little bit odd and I thought okay well maybe I'm doing something wrong first of all I had Ottoman Empire here and I had the CPO Luce with a five percent skill damage skin because I thought CPO is still dealing a lot of skill damage so perhaps that would be the play you can also see the talent build that I used for CPO down here this talent build for CPO has emergency protection which isn't going to do anything going up against Liu Che Ragnar and you might say okay well Omni Arc, that's not fair but this probably is something that the enemy will have in the open field they're not going to be building their talents around trying to counter Liu Che Ragnar right so even though this talent build is unfavorable considering Liu Che Ragnar doesn't have skill damage I think it is re the reality that you would see something like this in the open field so then I said okay let's change to the France civilization will give them five percent more health and remove the skill damage bonus for the city skin and then the results changed a little bit you could see here that the Liu Che Ragnar still won but only 20k remaining next report they won again 24k remaining but you can see the seven wounds are pretty they're pretty close here right remember they're starting with more troops third report Liu Che Ragnar wins again 32k remaining fourth report Liu Che Ragnar wins again 51k remaining fifth report Liu Che Ragnar wins again with only 19k remaining and the final report the Scipio Liu actually wins 5k remaining and they win the Sebun trade so slightly better results switching to France with the extra health but Liu Che Ragnar won 
five out of six duels against CPO Liu Che. Now I'm going to say this again before people comment. I know that this is a 1v1 duel and I know this isn't the perfect representation for how these things will go in the open field. So then I thought, okay, let's go up against Gorgo Liu Che. This is another really powerful infantry pair in the open field. And you could see here that the Liu Che Ragnar wins, but only 16 K remaining next battle report. It loses Gorgo Liu Che pulls out the victory with 33 K remaining next battle report. Gorgo Liu Che wins again, but really this is a tie. I mean, the seven wounds are basically a tie only 5k remaining here I'm gonna call that a tie even though it's slightly in favor of the Gorgo Liu Che moving on to the fourth report Liu Che Ragnar wins with 31.4k remaining moving on to the fifth report we could see that the Liu Che Ragnar wins again 16k remaining and the final report the Gorgo Liu Che actually wins so I would say there was one tie here and the Gorgo Liu Che won two out of the six. So definitely performing better than a lot of the other commander pairs we've seen before, but the Liu Che Ragnar dominance is kind of shocking. Next, I wanted to test this against some cavalry pairings. So I tested against Hua William, and you could see here that we did go back to the Ottoman Empire. We do have the basically meta open field talent build, and they do have the 5% skill damage city skin. And here you could see that the Liu Che Ragnar wins 39K remaining. Next report wins again, 47K. Next report, Liu Che wins again 41k next report Liu Che wins again 37k next report 50k and final report 82k remaining so the Huo William gets absolutely destroyed by Liu Che Ragnar and look Huo is kind of a dueling commander like he deals a lot of single target damage and I I mean, look, I know William is a little bit more supportive. So again, a lot of his value is not being reflected here, but Liu Che Ragnar is literally popping off. So then I thought, surely Huo Joan will do better. And that was the case. Huo Joan actually clapped Liu Che Ragnar here. 42K remaining. Next report, Huo wins again, 30K remaining. Third report, Huo wins again, 39K remaining. Fourth report, Huo wins again, 28K remaining. Fifth report, Huo wins, 24K remaining. And sixth report, a clean sweep. Uo Joan absolutely dominating Liu Che Ragnar here. It is a 6 0 victory. So finally, we see a pair that can completely destroy Liu Che Ragnar, and that is Huo Joan. Very shocking, especially because infantry should be countering cavalry here, but Joan is obviously insane. So yeah, this is not that surprising, I suppose. Next, I went ahead and did a Liu Che Caesar test because that was the original inspiration for this video was for Liu Che Caesar. I actually only recorded five battles here. I know it says six, but I forgot to record the sixth one. But here you can see that Liu Che Caesar wins with 25k remaining. Next report is literally even. We have eight remaining, bro. Eight remaining. That is shocking. They're basically the same here. Of course, more Sevu for the Liu Che Caesar because they start with more troops we talked about that earlier next report the Liu Che Ragnar wins with 18 or 19k remaining next report Liu Che Ragnar wins again 32k remaining and the final report was pretty much even more sev wounds for the Liu Che Caesar so okay Liu Che Caesar does do decently well but I think that the Liu Che Ragnar is just better here and finally we're doing some archer testing I know this is what you guys have been waiting for and this is one of the biggest downsides to Liu Che Ragnar and that is that that Zhuye Liang with Herman absolutely claps Liu Che Ragnar. A hundred thousand troops remaining here, an absolutely devastating victory. Next report, 98k remaining. Next report, 107k remaining. Next report, 112, 113k remaining. Next report, 100k remaining. And final report, 123k remaining. So Zhuye Liang Herman is dominating Liu Che Ragnar in absolutely disgusting trade here. Next, I wanted to see if Boudicca YSG would do just as well, because this is like last year's open field meta. And even this 95K remaining, we have 100K remaining, 103K remaining, 82K remaining, 84K remaining, and 89K remaining. So once again, even with last year's meta, Boudicca YSG absolutely sweeping the floor with Liu Che Ragnar and that is with Ragnar's second skill kind of debuffing her healing here which is crazy so even still Liu Che Ragnar is getting destroyed by basically any archer pair that you can come up with next up I did two different tests with maximum technology we have everything is talented except for the accessories we also have the horn and the ring here we have VIP 18 we have max uh, damage all damage and attack from the crystal tech first battle report you could see that Liu Che Ragnar technically wins even though they have more sev wounds so I guess you can call that a loss or an even 
been trade second battle report Liuche Ragnar loses for sure plain and simple third battle report Liuche Ragnar loses again fourth battle report Liuche Ragnar loses even harder 50k remaining 49k remaining for the CPO fifth battle report the Liuche Ragnar actually does pull out a victory and sixth battle report CPO Liuche does win so with max tech CPO Liuche is still outperforming the Liuche Ragnar so keep that in mind all the previous tests that we did were for low to medium spenders which I think most of you guys are which is why I wanted to do most of the tests like that but at the highest level CPO Liuche still dominating and then I also did a max tech Nevsky Joan to see how it would perform against the Liuche Ragnar Liuche Ragnar wins 82k remaining second report Liuche Ragnar wins again 45k remaining third report 30k remaining fourth report 54k remaining fifth report Nevsky Joan actually wins uh only 3k remaining and final report 45k remaining for the Liuche Ragnar so slightly better performance from Nevsky Joan with the max tech but still Liuche Ragnar is absolutely dominating okay so what's what's actually going on here why is this why is this the case is the simulator broken are we living in a fantasy world no actually it kind of makes sense that this would be the case in 1v1 duels so let me go ahead and explain first of all with the expertise on Liuche and the Horn of Fury Liuche's active skill is often casting with 40 percent all damage and typically the March will almost always have 20 percent less damage taken as well as the 15 percent normal damage reduction on Ragnar's relic there's a ton of stats on this pair which is crazy and of course it does have a couple of pairings that it loses to it loses to the Huo Joan it loses to basically every Archer March which we would expect because it's infantry it's all infantry but besides that this pairing is shockingly good in 1v1 duels and I know most of the time you're not going to be doing 1v1 duels but Liuche does still have AoE you are still going to be dealing insane amounts of AoE damage with this pairing in the open field so let's not pretend like you know you're going to be useless if you actually ran this you could have some success but remember at the beginning of the video I said that there were some downsides and they are definitely some downsides what are the downsides here first of all Ragnar has zero March speed no March speed at all on his kit no March speed on his relic nothing so that means that you're going to be running relatively slow now you do have 20 percent March speed on Liuche and as I talked about in some of my previous most recent videos there are a lot of ways that you can get March speed with the four piece set bonus for infantry also the tier four and tier five iconic upgrades give you extra March speed so you won't be the slowest thing in the world you'll be a little bit faster than you might expect if you are able to do those things and get those March speed upgrades but at the end of the day you will still be one of the slower marches in the open field which is a huge downside definitely I don't want to gloss over that no March speed on Ragnar he's basically think about it like this he is as slow as Gorgo he is as slow as Leonidas he is he is slow another downside here is both of these commanders have to be expertise and of course very few players have it Ragnar expertise the reason for this is because it bumps this from four seconds to five seconds and that extra second really makes a difference when you're trying to cast the active skill of Liu, Liu Che during the 40 percent all damage plus it is a pretty big bump in stats here right so you absolutely need the expertise on Ragnar to make this work and of course you need the expertise on Liu Che to get the bonus rage in order to make it work as well another massive downside of this pairing is you know I said earlier that more troops equals more damage and that's true always but that's only when you're winning when you have more troops and you're losing for example you're fighting against a Zhuyi Liang Herman that means your hospital will be filled very quickly because you have way more troops and you're getting destroyed in the trade department the Luce Herman was like what three or four to one right so if you do find yourself in a scenario where you are getting just mega swarmed or all the archers are targeting you you will get absolutely wrecked and fill your hospital very quickly so that is another huge downside and of course he has no March speed so you can't run away and the final downside is that through some more testing it looks to be the case that when everyone is max tech and everyone has max everything this pairing seems to perform a little bit worse than if we assume you know sort of a low to mid spend from a armament perspective and from a equipment perspective and the reason for that is because as all the stats are inflated the benefits from the 35 percent defense on his relic isn't as meaningful the benefit of the 20 percent attack here isn't as meaningful now again if you're watching this and you do have special talents on all your gear then congrats you're in the 0.01 percent of all players so this video is not really for you but that also kind of means that it is for you because you're probably one of the only people that has Ragnar expertise right so it's a little bit of a weird pairing there's a lot of obvious downsides to the pairing but I think it is shocking how good it is and you saw the day you saw how many pairs Liute Ragnar absolutely clapped 
So I wanted to make this video to give you guys sort of a fresh approach, sort of an off meta unique thing that you could try if it is something that you have access to, which is very few of you, but it's also just interesting to talk about a commander that is so often overlooked. Nobody ever talks about Ragnar anymore. And I feel like the results here are actually really good. So it would definitely be interesting to see if some of the whales test this out, see how it actually works in the battlefield based on my current Ragnar skill distribution. Um, I will probably have him expertise in a year so yeah maybe I will test it then but guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so the rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video and comment down below what you think about this do you think that this only works well on paper in 1v1s or do you think that you could actually do something with this in the open field I would love to hear from you guys and I really hope that someone tries this because it would be so funny to see just absolute giga chad trades with with one of the most forgotten and useless legendaries in the game and finally do not forget to go down in the description and support the rock battle simulator again it is more accurate now than ever speco has been hard at work for the past couple of weeks putting adjustments in there you can also do 5 and 10x speed with this so you can actually speed through the results a lot quicker than you ever have been before so definitely go ahead and support the rock battle simulator and guys with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace